Hi everyone, again this is Mr. M. Gomez. In this video, we will talk about probability of compound events. These are events which consist of more than one outcomes. First, let's talk about mutually exclusive events. These are two events that cannot happen at the same time. Look at the figure. The formula is P of A or B that is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. For not mutually exclusive events, these are two events that can happen at the same time. Look at the figure. The formula is probability of A or B that is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of their intersection or probability of A intersection B. Sample. Problem number one. A jar contains 15 balls numbered 1 to 15. If a ball is drawn randomly from the jar, what is the probability that the ball drawn is A. 5 or 12 B. An even number or a number divisible by 5 or C. A number divisible by 3 or divisible by 4 Let us have problem A. What is the probability that the ball drawn is 5 or 12? This is mutually exclusive event since 5 or 12 are different. Let us have the formula, probability of 5 or 12, that is equal to the sum of their probabilities. Probability of 5 plus probability of 12. Probability of 5 union 12, that is equal to 1 over 15, since getting 5 is 1, plus 1 over 15, since getting 12 is 1. 1 plus 1, that is equal to 2 over 15. For problem B, what is the probability that the ball drawn is an even number or a number divisible by 5? For even numbers, these are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And for divisible by 5, these are 5, 10, 15. Look at the numbers. We have common. This is 10. That's why this is called not mutually exclusive event. For this event, the formula is probability of event or divisible by 5 equals probability of event plus probability of divisible by 5 minus the probability of their intersection. So, probability of 5 union 12, that is equal to Count the number of even numbers from 1 to 15, there are 7 over 15, plus probability of divisible by 5, so we have 3 numbers over 15, minus the probability of their intersection, so we have one common number which is 10, so 1 over 15, that is equal to 9 over 15, 7 plus 3 minus 1, or 3 over 5. For problem C, from numbers 1 to 15, what is the probability that the ball drawn is a number divisible by 3 or divisible by 4? For the numbers divisible by 3, these are 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. And for the numbers divisible by 4, these are 4, 8, and 12. Look at the numbers we have common. This is 12. So this is called not mutually exclusive event also. Again, for this event, the formula is probability of divisible by 3 or divisible by 4 that is equal to probability of divisible by 3 plus probability of divisible by 4 minus the probability of their intersection. So probability of 5 union 12 that is equal to 5 over 15 since there are 5 numbers divisible by 3 plus 3 over 15 since there are 3 numbers divisible by 4 minus 1 over 15 since we have 12 as common number so that is equal to 5 plus 3 minus 1 7 over 15 let us have problem number 2 Vic has 10 blue chips 12 white chips and 8 red chips what is the probability that Vic randomly selects a blue chip or a white chip? 
So this is mutual exclusive event since we are selecting two different colors. The formula for this is probability of blue or white equals probability of blue plus probability of white. Again, we are taking the probability of their union, so probability of blue union white equals 10 over 30 since there are 10 blue plus 12 over 30 since there are 12 white chips equals 10 plus 12 is 22 over 30. So simplify, that is equal to 11 over 15. Let's proceed to independent and dependent event. So independent event, these are two events where the result of the second event is not affected by the result of the first event. Look at the given figure. So P of A and B. So we're taking their intersection. The formula for this is the probability of A and B is equal to the product of their probabilities. Probability of A times probability of B. So for dependent event, these are two events where the result of the second event is affected by the result of the first event. The formula is probability of A and B, that is equal to probability of A times probability of B given that A has happened already. For example, problem number one, a restaurant serves a bowl of candies to their customers. The bowl of candies has 8 chocolate candies. 10 mint candies and 12 copy candies. After the customer chooses a candy, he eats it. What is the probability of getting a mint candy and a copy candy? This is dependent event since after eating the candy, there is no replacement. So for the formula, probability of mint and coffee that is equal to probability of mint candy times the probability of coffee following mint. So, we are taking the probability of their intersection, probability of mean intersection coffee, that is equal to 10 over 20, since there are 10 mean candies, times 12 over 19. We deduct 1 from 20 since we eat 1. So, 10 times 12, that is equal to 120. 20 times 19, that is equal to 380. Simplify, that is equal to 6 over 19. Or you can use the easiest way, simplify 10 over 20, that is 1 half, then 12 divided by 2, that is equal to 6. So the remaining answer is 6 over 19. For problem number 2, Sophie has 4 black pens, 2 blue pens, and 4 red pens in her bag. Sophia randomly picks 2 pens out of her bag. What is the probability that she chose 2 red pens? if she replaced the pen back in her bag before choosing the second pen. So this is independent event since there is a replacement. So the formula probability of red pen and red pen that is equal to probability of red pen times probability of red pen. So again we are taking the probability of their intersection, probability of red intersection red that is equal to 4 over 10 since there are 4 red pens out of 10 pens times 4 over 10 since we replace the first pen before choosing the second pen then multiply 4 times 4 that is equal to 16 10 times 10 that is equal to 100 simplify that is equal to 4 over 25 or you can use the easiest way simplify first 4 over 10 that is 2 over 5 times 2 over 5 2 times 2, 4, 5 times 5, 25. Let's move to conditional probability, the probability that the event will occur or happen given the knowledge that the other event has already happened. Look at the figure. Probability of B given A or probability of B given A has happened. The formula is probability of B given A that is equal to probability of A and B all over probability of A. The numerator is the intersection. The denominator is the probability that the event has already happened. Or the other figure, probability of A given B or probability of A given B.
Example, problem number one, a survey was conducted in a section of grade 9 about their science subjects. The results shows 30 students. So this is probability of chemistry given that biology has happened. So this is equal to probability of chemistry and biology all over probability of biology since biology has happened already. Out of 45 students, there are 13 students who like biology and chemistry. Where did we get 45? 30 plus 28 minus 13. So the probability of the intersection is 13 over 45. Divide the probability of biology that is equal to 28 over 45. Cancel 45 or cross out 45. 13 over 28. Let us have problem number two. The breakdown of the licensure examination results of 100 newly graduate teachers are shown below. So find the probability that the teacher was a male given that he got failed mark in the examination. B. Find the probability that the teacher passed the examination given that she was a female. So the formula is probability of male given that failed happened that is equal to probability of the intersection all over probability of failed that is equal to 15 over 100 since the intersection is 15 all over 40 all over 100 since the probability of failed mark is 40 cross out 100 that is equal to 15 over 40 then simplify that is equal to 3 over 8 for letter B, find the probability that the teacher passed the examination given that she was a female. So let's solve probability of pass given that she was a female is equal to probability of the intersection all over probability of female. The intersection is 35 over 100 all over the probability of female is 60 over 100. Cross out 100 that is equal to 35 over 60 or 7 over 12. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please subscribe.